What's good, my man of society? It is your host with the most shadow look back at you with another video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and are subscribed to the channel. It's absolutely free. That is how you help my channel get into the algorithm. Highly appreciate if you go ahead and do that. Now, what I wanted to get into was actually um, a discussion, right? Because today, if you are in the United States, right, um, it, it is Memorial Day today, right? So, you know, holiday, obviously, you know, related to the military. And um, since I do, you know, my discussions on my videos, a lot of people say, like, if I like Memorial Day or what's my thoughts on it, you know, because, you know, it seems that I have, you know, you know, these thoughts of the military. And it's not that I have nothing against the military. I have family members in the military. I have homies that are in the military. And, you know, you know, I got nothing against them. I simply just come and, and speak the facts, right? Like, you know, that people have a problem with this, but don't have a problem with that, which makes no sense because it's, it's the same thing because it is the same thing. You know what I mean? You can't tell me that it's not, you know, because we're talking about people killing other people that they never met a day in their life. Both sides have families. You know what I mean? Both sides are killing and shooting each other for lands that do not belong to them because these countries do not belong to people. No magical being came from the sky and gave these people the lands they came conquered by force with, you know, people and weapons and murder. And the reason why these countries go to war is for financial gain, for money, revenue. So people are dying for money, which is not a good reason. Despite if they give you, you know, scholarships, financial aid, if you get paid for it, if it's, you know, because of the United States, it's still nobody has the right to take another person's life, especially for money. You can't tell me that you're going to justify people losing their lives over money, that that's a good reason. Because these people are shooting other soldiers that they never met a day in their life, and they both have families. But right there is just taking orders, right? It's a sad, it's a cold game, right? And, you know, innocent people are dying. Villages, cities are getting bombed and everything in times of war. You know, Americans have it, you know, lovely because they don't get to see it, you know, happening here. You know, but in other countries, they don't have that luxury. So it doesn't make it okay just because it's not happening here, just because you're not seeing it or it's not, you know affecting you i guarantee you if it was here like in other countries you would have an issue with it you know what i mean so therefore it shouldn't be you know praised and honored and stuff like that right i'm i'm talking from the mindset of people when they're when they're you know talking shit about one group and not the other when it's the same thing see i understand the mentals and why things are done you know what i mean now um there is homies that are in the military, right? When I was telling the individual, he said, nah, you're lying. Like, no, there is. You know what I mean? Um, just because you go to the military, that doesn't take the hood away, the hood out of somebody, right? And just for I know, because I know how the internet works, right? They're going to be like, oh, you Mexicans always fucking everything up, or Mexicans always do that. No, 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 no. I made sure to keep it even. You see blacks, you see whites, because we're talking about the military has white gang members in it, black gang members, Asian gang members, Hispanic gang members. Groups of all, you know, range. White su white supremacist groups as well. You know what I mean? So there is homies that are, you know, in the military, right? And unfortunately, you know, they're doing shit, but it is what it is. Like I said, you just can't take that out of somebody, even if you throw them in the military or whatever. You know, people have to understand that this problem is, is far... It goes far beyond, you know, like, you know, sending them to juvenile hall or prison or the military. Right. And the reason they have so much pride in their areas or their gangs and stuff like that. And, you know, sending them to places like this and that is not going to change the damn thing, bro. It's, it's just really not. And, you know, we're talking about, you know, southern groups, northern groups, cribs, bloods, you know, hell's angels, the works, bro. You know, that's why I make sure, you know, to throw, you know, a little bit of everybody in here. That way, you know, people don't be trying to, you know, use that. Oh, it's only Hispanics that do that. Or, man, these people always got to fuck it up. Like, no, 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 bro. You see this shit happen with every group. Don't give me that shit. This is not a Hispanic problem. Gangs is not a Hispanic issue, bro. It's a society issue. Gangs exist in every part of the world and every ethnicity. You remove all the Hispanics from California or from the United States, like these people are always protesting and saying, you're still going to have a lot of drug dealers gang members and all that in America, even if you removed all the Hispanics, because you have a lot of white gang members and a lot of white drug dealers and a lot of white drug addicts. Same with every other ethnicity. You know what I mean? So Hispanics is not the problem, you know? 
Because this, this shit exists everywhere. You know what I mean? Um, But yeah, you have homies that are in the military. I have homies from my neighborhood that were in the military. You know, served, you know, Marines, Air Force, uh, uh, Navy. You know what I mean? And, and a lot of homies are out there. You know what I mean? And apparently from, you know, even the North. I can't speak because I don't know, you know, their, their works, right? But apparently from the North as well, right? And I'm assuming, yeah, it might as well work like that, right? And I know some, you know, black individuals that are in the military that are have gang ties as well. So, you know, some people use it just to, you know, money, get away, some to train them with weaponry. You know, there's different motives of why somebody goes to the military, you know? You would have to ask each and every individual, right? Because, you know, every individual's motives are different. Um, but yeah, you do have these cases where, you know, just because they're in different areas, that doesn't take away their, you know, like who they are, bro. You know, it's, it's, it's because this is, this is who they feel like they are. Because this is the only person that they ever known to be. You know what I mean? As stupid as that sounds, you know. Um, you know, like I said, even like, you know, white supremacist groups, right? Um, but like I say, you just can't take those, you know, that mental out of somebody, even if you do send them to the military. Like when people say, that will scare them straight. So, yes, you do have a lot of homies who... You know, celebrate today, right? You know, and rightfully so, because they fought for the country. You know what I mean? Um, so they rightfully deserve that, bro. Like I said, the, the government always sees like they always want to crit criticize it and say this, this and that. Right. But when, when push comes to shove, oh, right there, these people are useful, huh? Yeah, send them to war right there now, huh? Right there now, they're of use. Right there, you put bygones be bygones, huh? When you're getting something out of it. You know what I mean? Like, like I, like I have always said, bro. It's always, you know, at everyone's convenience, bro. How they want to view things. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, because there's a lot of people that that you know, like one one thing. Um, I was asked is, uh, would I want my son to to either be in a gang or be in or be in the military? And I said neither, because just like I don't want my son killing for streets that don't belong to him, I don't want him killing for countries and land that doesn't belong to him. I don't want him killing, period, bro. Regardless if this one's going to give him a scholarship and all that, I don't want him taking nobody's life because nobody has the right to take another person's life for nothing, bro. But it's crazy how people are willing, who don't see nothing wrong with that, and they justify it right there. It's okay. They don't see it. Oh, well, he had to do what he had to do. You know what I mean? When they're in these villages and they have to kill these 13, 12-year-olds because over there they're all corrupted and have them out there fighting, right? These are kids they have to kill. In the name of what? Resources? Y'all didn't lost your mind, bro. <laughs> but that's what I'm saying, though. No shout out to anybody that's from the military and stuff like that. I'm just saying when people want to, you know, target one group but not the other one is the exact same thing bro and that's why you know we can relate to each other you know people from the military understand what the brotherhood the bond and the connection that you have with somebody and the pride that you feel they understand the the street you know that's why like i said we're able to interact you know um because a lot of homies that, a lot of people that go to the military have problems themselves you know they go to try to maybe uh maybe get away from it or maybe try to fix it maybe that will help them fix their problems right but then they, they realize that it's no different than being, you know, over here, you know, because the government puts this propaganda of they care and stuff like that, but they really don't. And they have to find out the hard way, just like people in the streets have to find out the hard way, right? How the game really is. Oh, it's a dirty game, bro. But I'm just saying overall, what are your thoughts? Leave it in the comments. Did you guys know, you know, that these things take place because they do. But I'm just saying, shout out, we out.